Hello, welcome to a lesson on classifying angles. The first major category is acute angles. Acute angles are angles that have a measure that is between zero and 90 degrees. I'm going to use lowercase m for measure. So the measure would be less than 90 degrees, but it would be greater than zero degrees. The next category would be when you have an angle that is exactly 90 degrees, we call that a right angle. So the measure is equal to 90 degrees. All right. The next major category, obtuse. Obtuse angles have a measure that is greater than 90 degrees. It's bigger than 90, but it's less than 180 degrees. Our last major category we're going to call a straight angle. A straight angle is an angle that is exactly equal to the measure of 180 degrees. There are other types of angles. For example, we have a something called a reflex angle. Reflex angles have measures that are greater than 180 degrees, but they're less than 360 degrees. Let's take a look at a few drawings of these using GeoGebra. All right, so going back to my construction tool, the ray, if I were to um, construct two rays with the same vertex, A, remember we have a measuring tool under angle, if I can find it, angle. To measure this, um, you can either select three points or two lines. So if I select uh, this bottom leg uh, or side and this top side, it's telling me that my... Um, interior angle there is 23.8 degrees. That would be an acute angle. If I were to move this so that it could be exactly 90, and you can see I'm gonna really struggle to do that, it would be a right angle. So I'm not really having any luck with that, but don't worry, we'll construct that in a second. If I go larger than 90, this is an obtuse angle. If I get all the way exactly equal to 180, which, ooh, I did it for a second there, that would be a straight angle. And then something larger, you can see that GeoGebra is not wanting to do that. It's putting the angle measure on the other side. I believe there is a way to get a reflex angle as well. So let's talk about how to construct a uh, right angle or a straight angle. So the right angle first, if I have a ray here, I can do one of two things. I can either construct an angle using 90 degrees or I can construct uh, something called a perpendicular, which we'll talk about later. So I'm going to stick first with the angle with a given size, select the leg point E, select the vertex D, and then we're going to change that to 90 degrees. That will be our right angle. Notice it puts a new point up there, E prime. I can then uh, construct a ray from D through E prime. And uh, if I go back to my move tool, so you can see this a little bit better. Um, labeling this 90 degrees. Since I've constructed this to be 90 degrees, I'm not sure if I'm able to move. Notice I can move, uh, I can't move E prime at all. Although I can move this angle, notice it stays fixed at 90 degrees. The straight angle would be just simply drawing a straight line. If you drew a straight line, maybe put a, another point between those. So you can actually have the three points there to think about the angle. Then when you um, measure that angle, uh, G, H, F, you can see it's being listed there as 180 degrees.